Now at six o'clock, several parts of Charlotte are missing sidewalks. It may not be something you think about in your daily routine. Yeah, but for people who can't drive, well, this can hurt how they get to work, navigate, thrive in our community. Liliana Pearson spoke to a Charlotte resident who shows us what needs to change so everyone can live the same quality of life. This is Oakdale Road. It's just over six miles from uptown and nearly impossible to navigate due to a lack of sidewalks and public transportation. Now imagine this is what you see. How safe do you feel? I would never live in this neighborhood as a blind person. Walk down Oakdale Road. There's no sidewalks for us to walk on. Uh-huh. Well, try to walk down Oakdale Road and you're not going to make it far. What are you going to do? Crumbling, disappearing and blocked sidewalks. No marked pedestrian crossings. I would generally assume in most cities that if I find a crossing point on one side of the intersection that there will be something across the street when I get there. In Charlotte, that expectation is often disappointed. The closest bus stop? over a mile away. For Bradley Blair, who navigates the world without his eyesight. Yes, I do a great deal on foot. This part of Charlotte can only be safely navigated with the help of a sighted person. Here we go. What you don't have is your own autonomy to make your own decisions. As of 2017, 34% of sidewalks were missing along Charlotte side streets and 54% on main roads. According to the Charlotte Walk Plan, a document designed to improve walkability in the city, the lack of infrastructure is attributed to the city's boom in population and car-centric design. The city wants to change that. It's the right thing to do. Terry Bradley is the City of Charlotte's American with Disabilities um, yeah, Act so. coordinator. He says the city has a plan in place to tackle community accessibility. First, through the Americans with Disabilities Act transition plan. Part of this plan would identify physical barriers like the lack of sidewalks and bus stops and address how accessibility can be achieved. This is a civil rights that everyone um, has to, to ensure that they have access to services. Second, through Charlotte's 2040 Comprehensive Plan, where a major focus is the ability to access goods within 10 minutes by either walking, biking, or skating to your destination. These are also called 10-minute neighborhoods. But until either of those plans go into effect, people like Brad. Yeah, I, I want to see some more buses. I want to see more bus stops, more bus drivers, more access for everybody. It's not just a special niche disability interest. It's everybody wins. Mm -hmm. They'll need to hurry up wait. and wait for the city to catch up. Both the ADA transition plan and the 2040 comprehensive plan are taking steps to become a reality. The ADA transition plan is set to go before city council in the next six months for the beginning stages of approval. Meanwhile, the policy map that accompanies the 2040 comprehensive plan and helps determine the amount of intensity and the type of development that needs to go into certain parts of the city was approved this week by city council members. In Charlotte, I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV on your side.